Just by chance, years ago, before I came into acting, I was a folk singer, professional folk singer, and and uh, so I, I've always, we've always, I've always sung. But uh, the first time, pretty much, that we were acting together, Lawrence and I started singing. I think it was a John Denver song, Country Roads or something like that. And we often do it now if we're bored between takes, we'll start singing. But over the last few years, his guitar playing has become a lot better and he started writing songs. Uh, his brain fizzes all the time, he doesn't switch off, so he has to have fishing or something else to be doing in between uh, setups. And uh, he's playing at the Glastonbury Festival this year and I saw him at the talk of the, border, uh, the Borderline Club in London the other day, he's, he's becoming very good, very good, nice songs. Yeah, my daughter's been opera singing now, she's been out of uh, the Royal College for the last couple of years, so she's making her way in the opera world and it, it still gives me a buzz. I, I wish John Thor was a, alive now because he, he loved opera and all classical music and he'd be thrilled, I think, with the way her career's going. She's performing the Aix en Provence, um, festival this summer and Sheila Hancock, John's wife, owns a house just up in, in Provence a bit further north so she's coming down to see that but it, it partly started we were doing a, a film called Masonic Mysteries, a Morse film which Danny Boyle directed uh, which revolved around the magic flute and we had a, a tape of the magic in the days when tapes existed before DVDs uh, which the props boys gave to me at the end and I took home and Kitty, my daughter, heard the Queen of the Night's arias and absolutely they fascinated her. And we could hear her up in her little attic room playing this thing and singing along with it and trying to hit the high notes. I guess she was 12 at the time, something like that, and she never wanted to do anything else from then on. Mm -hmm.